Well, tonight, a Boston exclusive. The truth about Aaron Hernandez from the man who knew him best. Chief investigator Cheryl Fiandaka traveled to Florida to sit down with his brother, Jonathan Hernandez. And it's a deeply emotional look at the life and the downfall of a superstar turned killer. I loved him, and I love him, and it's just the whole, the whole thing is just so tragic. An emotional Jonathan Hernandez is still struggling with the way his brother Aaron's life spiraled out of control. There was a lot of tragedy. There was a lot of heartbreak. We caught up with Jonathan in Tampa days before the release of his new book that reveals a raw, unfiltered glimpse into the star athlete who seemed to have it all. I just remember us with you know some Hanes t-shirts and tube socks on talking about life and a lot of the moments that... You know, we might have shared to never have an opportunity. It was, it is tough. Jonathan says when Aaron was six, he was sexually abused by an older boy. But Aaron never told anyone. We were brought up in the sense that seeking help was weak. And, you know, crying was weak. Knowing their father, Dennis, didn't approve of homosexuality, Aaron also kept another secret. He was gay. You could kind of see what... You know his conflicts were and what he was struggling with and it's you know you know you know his sexuality is and, and accepting himself the relationship with their father was complicated he would brutally beat the boys for spilling cereal but Jonathan says as they got older their father changed he pushed them into sports and became their biggest cheerleader it was um, all, all we knew that's all we you know that was our dad you know I love him now, I love him, we, all, we love him. After their father's death, Jonathan says Aaron began smoking and selling marijuana. He also had guns, friends with criminal records, fame, and a $40 million contract with the New England Patriots. I couldn't help my brother. You, you constantly try to think of, of things that you could have done, how things could have, could have been different. And it's just, it's painful. Jonathan says he never expected Aaron would be charged and found guilty of murdering semi-pro football player Odin Lloyd and still remembers seeing Lloyd's mother in the courtroom. I feel so much pain for her. She lost her son. You know, I'm a, I'm a parent. Again, it's, it's, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than my... It's, it's, this thing is just tragic. And there would be more tragedy. Not long after Aaron began serving a life sentence, he was charged with the 2012 double murder in the South End. Just Not days guilty. after he was acquitted, he committed suicide in prison. I just had so many questions. It was life-changing. That's when Jonathan says he began to talk to doctors about CTE and the toll head injuries had on Aaron's brain. Just realizing the damage that my brother had in his frontal lobe. Jonathan says he wrote the book in the hopes that his journey to understand his brother will help others. I just hope that people can understand and, and appreciate the value of seeking help and understanding that you're not weak. It's actually courageous. In the book, which was released Tuesday, Jonathan doesn't make any excuses for Aaron. He says his brother was his best friend, and looking back at his life, he wishes it could have all been different. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.